Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. It's the official story trailer. Uh, this is being uh, published by Ubisoft. Now, as I said before, I am not the biggest Ubisoft fan. I feel like a lot of their franchise, a lot of their games are just the same game <laughs> with different skins. It's like, here's a big wide open world. Here's a bunch of question marks. Here's a bunch of exclamation points, a bunch of just symbols and a bunch of sim symbology everywhere. Go clear the map. That's kind of what, that's rinse and repeat. That's what the, all their games are from Assassin's Creed to The Division to Far Cry. Uh, they made an Avatar game that no one played. Like, it's, it's just all the same. And so... Now they're doing that for Star Wars. I mean, when I first heard that they're going to make a Star Wars game, I was like, eh, I didn't know, thank you. But I have to admit, you know, I, I, I did like a lot of the gameplay that they were showing off. It does look cool. Don't want to get my hopes up, of course, Jap, but I have not seen this particular trailer. I don't, even, I don't really have a, a sense of the story, so let's go ahead and take a look. I'll come back with my thoughts, come back with your thoughts, and we'll have a nice little conversation. Here we go. Star Wars Outlaws. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Oh, he's a fancy man. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden Spin. age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Okay, Vess. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Like her, damn! Oh! Need it last. Being up that Celestin. I like her '70s bangs. Rich and lethal. You cross their boss, Slero. Slero, what a name! You gone. Rob his fortune, buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. Hello, Han. I'm in. Here you live and die by your reputation. Damn, I'm smoking a pack a day, Jesus. You want to survive? <laughs> you're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Damn. Baba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew boy. surrounding the. Okay, we're skipping that part. Hmm. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nix. I like this little guy. Doing what we have to to survive. Oh, get him. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew and the right ship. Yes. I raise the sea a little bit. Hang on. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the outer rim. Cyborg. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Sess is mixed up in something big. What a nick. <laughs> the outer rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Hold on, Nick! No, I ain't gonna gun the Sarlacc. He's gonna bore you. Green Dragon. Star there Wars you Outlaws pre-order available now. Pre-order it, buy, but give us all your money. Uh, so I will say, it, listen, it, listen. Um, it, it. I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. The, the thing is, though, it is showing us a lot of the things that we've seen time and time again when it comes to you know Star Wars. You know, it's like all right, we're back on Tatooine again. <laughs> You know, there's Boba, there's there's Job of the Hut again. You know, doing all that. I mean, it's definitely taking place in between Empire Strikes Back and the Return of the Jedi because we see Han and Carbonite. So it's it's in that it's in that year, it's in between that year since it's a year between Empire and and, and Jedi. You know, I like the idea of playing like a rogue, a smuggler, a swindler. You know, I think that's fun. A con artist, which is uh, what I imagine this this character uh, is trying to you know make her way. Up the uh, criminal uh, ladder, carve out a piece of uh, uh, the pie of the crime pie, if you will, for herself. So, I man, it's a cool thing. I like that. You know, we're not just playing like another Jedi character. We're I mean, just like I, I kind of want to move away from that. You know, I, I, I really love you know the Cal Kestis games, the Jedi games. You know, Fallen Order and um, uh, what was it? Survivor. Those are fun. 
but uh, but yeah, I'd like to like to play just you know like a rogue or something like a bounty hunter. I think I think that's a cool idea. But it is showing us a lot of the things that we have just commonly seen in in, in Star Wars. So there is that. I like that the the main bad guy or who appears to be the bad guy's name is what's his name Sleezo. <laughs> You are destined to be a villain if your name is Sleezo <laughs> or Sleero. In any case, Sleezo Sleero. I mean, that that is a villainous name. That's just a scummy, uh, bad guy name. So you got that, and I'm sure there'll be little cameos and things and everything. I think I think my my whole concern is is like as much as this is cool. Like, hey, we're just you know seeing this you know this character in this in this world exploring the criminal underbelly of of Star Wars right my only big fear is this is going to be like every other Ubisoft game or every Ubisoft game where it's just here's a big open world go to all in these directions and shit and uh, here's a here's a you know a quest that means nothing here's a fetch quest you know that that's the thing that does concern me but you know it, it is a fun impressive trailer but what about you guys what do you think about uh Star Wars Outlaws which uh, when does this come? I think it's August, right? Isn't this the end uh, end of August? And then when they said that this, uh, yep, yep, available August thirtieth on multiple platforms. And of course, this is from Massive, who have made the division, which um, I'm not a fan of. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be a fan of this. But what about you guys? What do you think of this trailer? Let's see. Oh, let's see who else is here. For sure, finished trailer this uh, time. Wow, looks clean. It does. I played the Avatar game, and I enjoyed it very much. You liked it, Malcolm? Yeah, Malcolm liked it. Malcolm liked it. Oh, face framing Banes. Indeed, it's like, hmm, mm hmm. It's very 70s, though, of her Banes. You crossed their boss, Sleezo. <laughs> yeah, we should make out with her. Huh? I bet she'll have, like, a little, little, uh. She'll have like a little line in there when you go up to it. And she's like, oh, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. A little chunky butt. Oh, she got a little booty on her? I didn't notice. I didn't notice. I wasn't looking at her ass the whole time. But I'll be sure to look at her ass next time. I'll, I'll be sure to check it out. This game already has a toy there. Uh, pushing. Oh, really? Oh, well, the little the little guy. Whatever. What's the little guy? Nyx. That thing does look pretty cute, and I imagine in combat it'll be able to steal things and be, be a distraction and get you blasters and stuff, so you'll have that to look forward to. Malcolm says, looks like Stir Wars to me. It does It does indeed. I'll give it that. But when does Glup Shitto show up? <laughs> we need we need Glup Shitto. We need that character. <laughs> I know. I, I hope Turgo makes a cameo. I love Turgo. Turgo was pretty fun. She ends up in the Starlight Pit with Boba Fett. Boba's like, first time? <laughs> that would be good. That'd be really good. Uh, it's no X-Men. True. Different property. Hamilton looks okay. Megan Smith, I'll play it. Has the humor. Definitely has the humor. Looks pretty cool, says KC. Krabby, have you already reviewed that new J-Lo sci-fi movie? No, no, no. I haven't even watched it. Her own uh, route down the Kessel Run, if you... Ah, yes. Your little pet, though. He's a little fat, little chunky, but... Oh, you're talking about him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a cutie. I like little Nick's or whatever the hell he is. Uh, Hamilton, say, Chris, here's a somewhat related question. <laughs> how will you feel if they reveal Star Wars World for Kingdom Hearts 4? I'll feel how I always feel about Kingdom Hearts. Nothing. <laughs> I'll feel nothing. <laughs> I'll feel complete, total, all-encompassing apathy. <laughs> That's what I'll feel. <laughs> and again, I'm not, like, hating on Kingdom Hearts. It's just, you know, I'm... I'm just not the demographic they're going after for that. Like, I remember trying to play... I, this is what I did. This is, my, this is my Kingdom Hearts experience. And so I actually bought Kingdom Hearts 3 when it came out, and years ago. And uh, I was like, well, you know what? Because everyone was asking, Chris, you're going to play Kingdom Hearts 3? And I was like, yeah, I'll play it. And then I was like, well, you know what? I hadn't played the, old, the, the older games, so I decided to watch a documentary... It was a 30-minute documentary, like, on YouTube. It's actually very well, uh, like, done, very professional and, and, and everything, I mean, you know, but made by just, you know, these, these YouTube content creators, and I was presented, and it was, it's like, it was like 35 minutes or something, right? Here's the breakdown for the story, it's what you need, and I was like, okay, cool. After watching it, I was even more confused. <laughs> I was like, I, honestly, I probably shouldn't even watched it. <laughs> And then I, and then I started playing the video game. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And uh, I just, I just didn't care for it. I, I was doing the Toy Story World, and I was like, after a while, I was just like, I don't really want to play this. I didn't really like the gameplay. I didn't really like how it felt. And so I just, I just abandoned. I, I played. I, I think I put like six hours into it. And I was like, I'm just not feeling this. I like making food of Remy though. That was fun. 
Sleazel sounds like a DBZ villain. He does. It looks quirky and fun, says Bat Boy, which is something I've always enjoyed about Star Wars. And the girl's like a female Han Solo. Yeah, I hope she's more than just a female Han Solo. I hope she's her own character. Sleero is the villain's name. <laughs> I'm going to call him Sleezo. <laughs> That's my new goddamn name. Oh, man. Jabba's uh, cackle inside pick better be the main villain. Oh, Salacious Crumb. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Oh, man. D. Bradley Baker voices Nick. She's a little petting him. Aw, he, he's always voicing little monsters, little animals. I feel nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you feel nothing too awesome. Yeah, same. How dare you, Chris? Little Kim Hurts is good. I listen, I got, I got, you know, I'm just, you know, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. You know, it's, it's, I'm, hey, can, you got, you're getting your fourth one? I'm happy for all you people. I'm just, I'm just not going to play it. I just didn't care for what I played of three. And I was like, I didn't know, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't like the gameplay. So it's like, you know, not my thing. So apathy is what I feel. Not hating on it. Just like, yeah, I just don't care. Yeah. Damn, you don't fuck with sorry. Nah, I don't. I really don't. Nah, not for me. Oh, see, I was left with complete apathy. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds about right for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Set off. I've set off the powder keg for Kingdom Hearts, Jeff. Used to like Kingdom Hearts 2 and, and 2 during the first two games, and after I fell off hard, yeah. Stop coming after 2. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good to have you here, Casey. More confusing than Metal Gear? Oh, no. I mean, I'm sure they're both, you know, equally confusing. It's just that, you know, I was exposed to Metal Gear at an earlier age. Like, you know, I was exposed to Metal Gear in the same way that I feel like a lot of younger people exposed to Kingdom Hearts. You played at the right time, right? And so... I, I played Metal Gear Solid, like, on the PS1. That's how I was first exposed to the series. So, um, and then I played up to, like, 5. And then they don't know what the fuck to do with that franchise anymore because Kon Konami owns it. Um, so, uh, that that's the reason why. I mean, and then the thing is, I don't like every single Metal Gear game, believe me. I, am, I have no love in my heart for 2 or 4. But I love 1, I love 3. I really like um, 5 as well. Chris, oh, yeah. 